Hello and welcome to the Lucian video tutorial series. In this segment of the separators tutorial, we're going to learn how to make separators name your documents for you and file them away into subfolders. Now as a context for this video, let's assume that I'm an estate planning attorney and this is the way that I like to organize a client drawer. I like to have separate subfolders for each of the different types of documents I deal with. Now in the client info folder I'll have something like a client survey, maybe some contact information. Correspondence, I'll put letters to and from the client. And then I may have a folder with old estate planning documents like a formal will. Now each of these documents that you see here were scanned at exactly the same time. I took one stack of documents and used separators that automatically created these subfolders and automatically gave these files or names. You notice how these files were even able to pick up the name of the client from the name of the drawer. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to accomplish this. Now, as we saw in the first separators video, separators are managed from the separators button right here on the main toolbar. Uh, and with that, a quick reminder that separators is a File Center professional only feature. If you're using File Center standard, you won't see any of these options or have separators available to you. Now, here on the separators dialog, you can see that I've created three separators. And these are the separators I used to create those subfolders and file away those documents, as we just saw. Notice here that we've got the client survey, for example, which is going into the client info subfolder and the former will, which is going into the former estate plan folder, and then, of course, the letter received going into the correspondence folder. Let's create a new separator for filing away client contact information so that you can see how these options work. Now, I add new separators from the Add button down here on the bottom. And the first thing I need to do is give the separator a name. Now, realize that this name is simply a title for the separator. In fact, when you print this separator out, the separator name is what you're going to see at the top of that page. It's just an easy indication to you of what this separator does. So let's give this separator a name. And now I need to tell File Center what to do with this separator. And we do that here in the destination section. Uh, a destination sounds intimidating, but it's very simple. A destination simply tells File Center where to put the file and how to name it. So let's add a destination and show you how to add that information. Now the first thing we need to do is tell File Center where this document needs to go after File Center spots it. And we're going to put this in what's called a, a, a relative location. Uh, it's actually very simple. This simply means put the file in the drawer that's selected. So we're putting it into the selected location. And when we use these separators, it's always going to be in the Manage view. You'll have a drawer selected or a folder selected. And this is telling File Center, put it in that selected location. You also have the option here to put the file into a subfolder. And we want to do that. I want to put this file in that same client info folder that I'm using for some other things. So I simply type in client info. Now, I can go any number of levels deep. Notice that we can use this format here, folder, subfolder. I could put a backslash and add more and more and more subfolders, and I could put this in a very deeply nested folder. But for now, I'm just going to leave it right there in the Client Info folder. Next, we need to select the file type for this scan. I'm going to leave it as a PDF because I like to use PDFs for all these, but notice you can also do just an image-only TIFF file or even just a bare text file, but uh, we'll leave it at PDF. We do have the option to put things into dated subfolders. And that makes sense sometimes when you're bringing in a lot of files every day for a particular client or for some kind of matter. You can automatically have File Center create some dated subfolders and put the files in these subfolders. But that doesn't, uh, that doesn't need to be done for me in this context, so I'm going to leave that alone. But I do want to designate a file name for this document. So I'm going to click here, Use File Name Builder. Now with this, I'm going to simply give this document a very basic name. I'm going to call it Contact Info. So when I do this scan, the scan is going to be called Contact Info.pdf. I can assign an increment. What that does is that puts a counter at the end of the file name if you're going to have more than one document that uses this same name. But in this case, I won't have, so I'm going to leave that alone. 
But I do want you to notice something, and that is that we do have the drop arrow right here. What that means is that I have all of my naming options available to me. Now, if you're not familiar with naming options, you need to go and watch the naming options tutorial. Naming options are simply some rules that you can use to create dynamic file names. In our original example, you'll notice that some of those file names picked up the client's name off of the drawer. Well, that was accomplished here with naming options. So go and watch the naming options tutorial so that you can see how those rules work. But like I said, for this document, I'm just going to type in a file name and let it go from there. Okay, so I've added my destination, and I can add other destinations. 90% of the time you won't want to add other destinations, but occasionally you've got a business that does want to create multiple copies of a file when they scan something in, and this is where you would do it with the separator here. You could add other destinations. But we're going to leave it there and say OK. Now File Center is asking me if I want to print a copy of this separator, and I do. I'll print out a copy of this so that I can now do some scans with it. Now you can see that my separator has been created. Here it is right here, the contact info separator. And it's going to be filing the document away into the client info subfolder, just like my client survey up above. What I want to do now is put this separator into use. In fact, let's scan a whole stack of documents so that you can see how all these are going to work together. Let's use these separators to scan some documents for another client, Mel Harris here. Now you can't see this, but on my desk in front of me, I have four documents. I've got the client contact information sheet and the client survey. I've also got a letter from my client and I've got an old will from my client. I've also taken each of these printed separators and I've put one separator on top of each document. For example, I put the contact information separator that we just created on top of that contact information sheet, just like a fax cover sheet. And I've done likewise for the other document types. And I put all of these documents together in one stack, so it's kind of sandwiched with these separators in there, each separator indicating where a new document starts and telling File Center what that document is. And now I'm going to scan this whole stack of documents at once. Let's come up here to the Scan dialog. And now we've got an issue. It's asking for a file name. And the question is, what file name do I use? These separators are going to be naming the files themselves. Well, the fact of the matter is, it doesn't matter what file name you use here. Uh, file Center is going to ignore it if your separator designates a file name. But if you happen to have a document in your stack that doesn't use a separator, that document is going to use this file name right here. But by and large, the rule is, if your separator has a file name, that's the file name that will be used for your document. Also remember down here under the OCR tab, this is the important setting, Process Separators. We need to make sure that this is selected so File Center knows that it needs to look for separators inside of the stack. So let's go ahead and scan our whole stack and see what happens. Okay, my scan has just shown up and you notice that uh, OCR is running now. It's looking for separators inside of that stack. So let's watch and see what happens. Okay, there we go, it's done. Now, the first thing I want you to notice is what's happened here at the bottom. A little window has opened up down here that shows a list of files that were created from this scan. This is a quick and easy way to check and make sure that everything went where it was supposed to and that it got named properly. In fact, we can look here and see that uh, we created a client survey and a form of will and a letter, and we've also got our contact information. So that looks good. I'll just close this, but let's come up and peek in the folders themselves. Inside of the client info, sure enough, uh, the client survey picked up the name of the client off of the drawer, and here's our new contact information one from the contact information uh, separator that we just created. We've also got the letter that came in properly and the former will that came in. So you can see from this that it's possible with separators to do some very rapid scanning that automatically and intelligently names and files away your files for you. Uh, as we say, File Center can become your most valuable filing assistant. Very, very quick and easy way to scan and organize your documents.